Hello friends, in this video we are going to see types of DC motor. As per the excitation given to the field winding, types of DC motor can be classified into two types. First is separately excited. And second, second type is self excited. Now, what do you mean by separately excited? We have independent supply for a field winding, or you can say a separate supply. To field winding to produce a main flux, whereas self excited supply for field winding is obtained from armature voltage. In self excited depends upon connection of field winding we are having further two different classes one is series motor and second shunt motor series motor field winding is in series with armature or you can say armature winding whereas in shunt motor field winding is connected in parallel with armature winding Now let's see all these botas one by one. First, separately excited. Here, field winding is excited through a separate supply. To produce a flux which is responsible for a motoring action. This is the armature excited by armature voltage or supply voltage Vs. It will pass the armature current which will generate a back EMF because of generating action of a motor. So these are the terminals F1, F2 of a field winding and for armature E1 and E2. So let's write voltage and current relationship for this. Since IF is independent of Vs and any other part of the armature so constant flux you will get it's a constant 5 motor because flux only depends on Vf so if I apply KVL to the armature side I will get Vs equal to EB plus IARA plus V brush. So you know EB is a back EMF, IARA is armature voltage drop and V brush is a drop because of brush resistances. We can neglect them, 
so neglecting brush voltage I can say Vs equal to Eb plus Ia Ra. Let's go to second type that is shunt motor. In shunt motor, the field winding is in parallel with the armature. This is supply voltage Vs. This is the armature which will produce a back EMF of this polarity. And this is the resistance of field winding. Since it is centered in shunt, I will represent it as RSH. This will be the armature current IA and this will be the field current IF. Armature terminals are A1, A2, field terminals are F1. F1. Now, if I keep Vs constant, I will get voltage and current equations that we need to list out. Here, IF is nothing but Vs upon RSH and EMF equation will be Vs equal to Eb plus IARA plus V brush. Now, the load current will be like this. Applying KCL over here, I can get IL equal to IA plus IF. So these are the voltage and current relationships we are having in a shunt motor. One important thing, if I keep Vs constant, which is the case most of the time, then I will get constant IF and the constant IF will produce constant flux. So flux produced in this motor is directly proportional to IF and IF is constant because Vs is kept constant This motor is also called as constant flux motor. Let's go to the third type that is series motor. In this motor, field winding is connected in series with the armature. This is a supply voltage Vs. This is a resistance of field winding. Since it is connected in series, I will represent it as RSE. This is a armature giving a back EMF EB. And this will be the load current IL. Let's write voltage and current relationship. Now, IL is a current taken from the supply that is same as IAC which is same as IA. Current flowing through this winding is IAC and through armature it is IA. So, 
is nothing but the same current which is drawn from the supply. Voltage equation, once again, it will be Vs equal to Eb plus Ia, Ra. This time, one more drop will come because field winding is in series and that is Ia, Rsa plus V brush. So ultimately it is Vs equal to Eb plus Ia is taken common in bracket Ra plus Rsc plus V brush. Now, series motor, armature current is passing through the field winding. Hence, flux produced is directly proportional to Ic, which is nothing but a field current or it is directly proportional to armature current Ia. Thank you.